want to introduce Dr. Susan Swear, co-director of the Bullying Research Network. She's joining us. Uh, stand up, please. Welcome. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you for having me. I mean, for, for how do parents out there, how should they recognize signs of bullying? What should they be looking for? Uh -huh. They should be looking for things like their child is withdrawn, uh, maybe upset, crying, like in Alex's situation, not wanting to go to the bus, not wanting to go to school. Their grades might be slipping. Um, they may be you know, feeling angry and just looking depressed and feeling sad. And, and you know, uh, Lee, you, you and I have talked about this before. It's very easy to just say, well, they're bullies and they're victims, but it's actually much more complex than that. Oftentimes, kids who are bullied, uh, you know, who are victimized by bullies, bully other people. And a lot of it, you know, I, I've read a lot about the idea of social combat, that bullying is a way to kind of raise yourself up in a social hierarchy. Um, so it's not just black and white. Right, and I think that's what makes it so frustrating and so complicated, is that it's not just a problem between a bully and a victim. Sometimes bullies who, you know, might be victimized themselves, it just gets much more complicated than that. And I think that just increases all of our frustration about what to do. What should parents do? I mean, we, we saw Jackie and, and her husband going to, to the, uh, the, the assistant principal. We just saw the assistant principal there with this ludicrous okay. solution right. of, well, forcing these kids to shake hands. Right, I mean, what this movie really does, it's a catalyst for for social change. I mean, we really want parents to say, I'm demanding change here. This is unacceptable. And to go up the chain of command like this family did, which is to go to the teacher, to the mental health professionals, and then when they're not getting the support that they need, to go to PTA, PTOs, to garner support and to really then become part of what we're seeing, which is a grassroots movement to really demand change in our schools and our society.